Hello, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Take two! Eh, once again, sometimes OBS tends to get stuck on things in between recordings. Uh, and it's a bit unfortunate because I lost pretty much a hour worth of recording. That's too bad. I think I'll upload the audio from the last recording somewhere. Um, meanwhile, what I started the last recording with was going through the achievements, because we have achieved a sorry ally. Complete the majority of the game with a sorry squad member. Reward is stasis and barrier recharge time improved by 10%, which is really nice, because we are specializing in uh, barrier. So, let's go back to the Presidium. There's nothing interesting to buy anywhere. There's nothing new anywhere. The only thing that is worthwhile to point out is just a reminder of what your squad mates say here. Keepers never paid much attention to that relay monument. I always found that a little strange. Hmm. This statue shows how well the Protheans blended function and form. The mass relays were not only their greatest technological achievement, but also inspiration for beautiful works of art. Yeah, so basically, even though we now know that the Citadel was created by the Reapers, fortunately, old dialogue does not change. Too bad. I wish they uh, put a bit of effort into doing that. But let's just get down. And see if we can meet Anderson. research facility in the Hades Gamma Cluster was the victim of an attack by biotic extremists. The drug researchers attacked Alliance soldiers, and the rescue operation became a brutal massacre. The research center is unlikely to reopen in the near future. Rude. That's not what happened. It wasn't brutal. It wasn't a massacre. It was just a few drug scientists that got in the way of gunfire, and that's all. Oh, so you can see some bruises and so on on the armor. The creators of the texture pack probably added those so that Nihilus looked like he was someone who had seen quite a bit of battle. Which is a nice touch, although too bad that it also affects Brandly new purchased armor. Increases in Citadel traffic endangered our safety. Emily Wong offers an inside look at the dangerous world of space traffic control. And we should be about there. Yep, there we go. So there are a few new things to do here. Excuse me, you're the Spectre, right? Maybe. Okay, fine, I'll talk to you. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. 
Cram, Your Honor. What's this riot about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Hmm. You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. Yeah. Every day I stand up for humanity. Often in the face of bullets. What have you done lately? You really think speeches help? We all serve in our own way, Commander. I'm not a soldier. But I can tell the public why they should support your efforts. Among my people, everyone's a soldier. Even the infirm volunteer to serve behind the front lines. I... Uh, I assure you, I'm only interested in the betterment of humanity. The same as you, Commander. Yeah, he's not making a good case. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. That is not unreasonable, but some of the things these people are saying sound a bit bigoted. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. What the Alliance does affects everyone around it. Yeah, it does sound bigoted. It sounds very bigoted. We live in this galaxy, Mr. Saraceno. We can't pretend that what we do affects no one else. No, of course not. My apologies. I only meant to point out that other species have no right to interfere in Alliance politics. You're still not making a good case. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. True. We were also born a spacer. But, no. Go away. Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. You know that you're not. Also, Shanxi, yes, the first world that got occupied by the Turians by mistake and then got deoccupied after everyone figured out that it was a mistake. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. Because of a mistake. You guys don't have any basis whatsoever. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno. But with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Yeah, democratic process sometimes doesn't work all that well either. Unfortunately, especially with these bigots, because they tend to get uh, too much support for some reason. Speaking of which, there's also going to be elections in Lithuania in one week's time. There are also some bigot parties. Thankfully, they have absolutely no support, as they should. So that's good. Alright, let's go see the captain. Now pardon me, soldier. Can I take a moment of your time? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Not another one. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Um... 
No. I don't remember seeing you hip deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines, but I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Yeah, no, you're still not making a good case. Why is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Is your assistant incompetent or just inexperienced? Worse, he's an alien sympathizer. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took of the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Okay, your assistant sounds like a reasonable person. What is this stimulant exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. Hmm. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? <sighs> My assistant was... No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took of the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. No. Getting you your drug fix isn't high on my list of priorities, Keeler. What century are you living in? Do you think those Solarians hesitate before amping themselves up? If you won't help me keep humanity strong, I'll find somebody else who will. If you've gotten your temper back under control, I could still use help. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Yeah, no. I don't believe you. Also, renegade option. Excellent. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I have to push myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. I still don't believe you. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. That sounds like an addict talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? You're, you're right, uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry you came to this. And despite the fact that we did lots of renegade things, I still got Paragon points. Yeah, of course, Liara doesn't want to dance. Unfortunately. Hey there, welcome to Flat. I'm waiting for someone else. Hey, good to see another human tonight. Commander, thanks again for all your help. And here's Anderson, so let's go talk to him. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard what happened. Hmm. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. Indeed. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. 
Okay. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Okay. That's logical, at least. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Well, that's also true. So you're right. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Hmm. That sounds risky. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He will not just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Okay, so we have two plans. Go use the Dean's computer, or go to Citadel Control. Um, I think Udina is a bit nicer to deal with than CSEC control patrols, so... You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yep. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Excellent. Well, now we have something in the journal, so... Go to Ilos. Use the mirror relay to go to Ilos and stop Saren before he uses the conduit to unleash a Reaper innovation on the galaxy. Of course, we still need to get to the Normandy first, but that shouldn't take long. Provided I don't forget the path to the Normandy. I have to work the crowd, Commander. Maybe we can do lunch sometime? No. Let's go. Wait, to see Sec Academy. Am I going the right way? Yes I am. This is not too presidium. Treaty negotiations between the Alliance and the Solarian Republic have finally concluded. Solarians praised the openness and flexibility of Alliance negotiators in pursuing a deal that benefited both sides. The deal was brokered by new Alliance negotiator Thomas Kent after his mentor Elias Keeler withdrew, citing health reasons. Well, they sure brokered that deal very quickly. But I'm glad that everything worked out quite well. Yep, there we go. So, to the Normandy we go. And hopefully, Anderson has already found a way to deal with Udina. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Okay. So, time to steal our own ship. 
Sounds like a plan. <laughs> and in this case, we don't actually need to do anything because Anderson is going to take care of it. Of course, that's the only way we can get the timing right, so... That makes sense, I suppose. Hopefully he doesn't get into too much trouble. And we can enter the Normandy, so that looks like a good sign. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decon Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't set. <laughs> Satisfying. And we're free. However, that is the last time that we get to see the Citadel. Because, obviously, we cannot actually return back to the Citadel. Yep. No way to land anymore. But we can still explore the galaxy. We can also land on Noheri and Pharos if we need some more supplies. We cannot land on Vermeer anymore, of course, also. Now we have Ilos in the Pangaea Expanse. Um, but I'm sure that the Citadel Council has everything under control, like they said, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's just go train in Pinnacle Station. <laughs> so, before that, um... Before going to Vermeer, I said that we could do Pinnacle Station back then, and it would have been easier on one hand, but also more difficult on the other hand. It would have been easier because we would still have Ashley, and one more soldier can make a lot of difference in survival. On the other hand, now we don't need to worry about the Asari ally achievement, so we don't need to take Liara with us everywhere anymore, which is also helpful. Because in Pinnacle Station, there is nothing that we need to hack or anything. So we don't actually need to have any tech person with us. And that's good. So that will make things a bit easier because we now can bring in more heavy hitters like Rex. Alright, so the only thing I want to do right now is to play one mission since we're here. And uh, let's check the scores. So I want to try survival. Now the high score for survival is 1 minute 46 seconds. And 43 milliseconds. That's okay. Uh, let's put on our helmet also. Do you need something else? Let's try a new simulation. I'm here to serve. Which combat mode? Time trial, capture, survival, or hunt? Survival. I'll go with survival mode. Now pick a course. Do you want volcanic or tropical? Uh, tropical. I could use some sun. Boot up tropical. Fine. The projectors are warming up. You can start whenever. Okay, now we get to choose the squad. Rex needs to be there because he is the most tanky one. And we have a choice between Garrus and Tali, and... 
we are going to be dealing with the Geth, so I'll take Tali. And actually that results in a balanced squad, oddly enough. It's just like the real world. The only thing you need to do is survive. Yes, but also I need to distribute points. So Rex can have more to warp. And Tally can have more armor. Master shield boost restores even bigger portion of shield. Very good. And uh, also, let's give Rex his helmet. Also, the pulse rifle is nice, but not really ideal for the situation, but whatever. You might also recognize this tropical setting. Yep, this is Vermeer. Also, why am I using this weapon? Okay, so story time. Last time I did this, mind you, it was on a lower difficulty. I managed to survive for quite a long time. And by quite a long time, I mean I managed to survive for an hour. That's right, these guys are really not much of a threat to us. And, uh... Another part of the story... Well... I mean, the last time I tried to do this, which is, like, the last time I played through the game, I had to give up after an hour because I was afraid that the game would glitch out if I go over it. Because, as you saw in the high score, it doesn't track hours, it just tracks minutes. So, um... Yeah, I don't know. I tried to be on the safe side and didn't go over an hour, and besides, it's really boring to do this for an entire hour. Now, mind you, the survival mission... Um, I mean, the last mission of... of the game is a survival also, but it's a bit more complicated survival than this one. And at least I feel that there isn't quite as nice of a hiding spot as there is here. Because this place is pretty good. I'm not even putting any sort of effort right now, by the way. And... It's going pretty fine. And also, Rex is not, like, in the best situation with his pulse rifle, it's not the best thing to use. But, like, whatever. No, 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 where do you think you're going? Survival works in waves, so as we go through things, um, the enemies get stronger. But not by that much. This guy's not even trying. <laughs> And yeah, I could put in some effort, but we're already beating the high score, so I won't bother. Wait, 
we're really well suited for survival too, because Vanguards in general have a lot of things that help with survival. So hopefully we can also survive the final mission fairly easily. That'd be nice. But we'll see once we get to it. We cannot access the final mission before we get the high score in all simulations. You guys keep up the good work. And the shields are actually useful. For us, rather than them. Another thing to note is that last time I tried this mission right now, because I lost the video footage, I survived for 30 minutes before giving up. Like, literally I had to give up, just go up there and get shot a whole bunch of times. So, yeah. I'm not going to wait for 30 minutes this time, I'm just going to load from last save that I had. And you can tell that I'm not doing any effort whatsoever. We already lost one party member. not actually getting that much more difficult. Sure, there's a lot of destroyers. That's not actually helping them all that much. I'm hardly even in cover anymore. So that's fair enough. I don't want to take too much time. So I won with six minutes. That's odd, Shepard. I've never seen the holograms cry like that before. And yeah, that will be all for now. We got some experience out of that. And just to show things off. There's no point in me saving. This is what our score really looks like. That's right. 31 minutes, 8 seconds. So I will uh, upload the audio from my last attempt so that you can listen to it. It's not super interesting, but, you know, some people might enjoy that anyway. That Vadinos is a spiteful little runt, isn't he? Indeed. So, see you all next time. Later.